Hey everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Jimmy Yomas. Tonight I'm going to do a video on Joseph. Okay, it's going to be part one. Alright, the breeding ground for the devil. Alright, part one of this video. There's going to be three parts. So go ahead and hit the like button, okay, and subscribe so you can get the next videos. Alright, join this ministry, join this family, join this you know, spiritual body with us. Alright, now, I'm going to flip this thing over. This is a new form. I'm going to try to read this breeding ground of uh, the devil scripture with you guys, okay? Now it says right here, we're going to start in uh, right there where it says Joseph, okay? It says, Joseph, he is 17 years old, was feeding the flock with his brothers, and the lad was with the sons of Bilhah and the sons of Zilpah. So Joseph, was, it was like a broken home, okay? He had multiple uh, wives and concubines around. Joseph was Rachel's kid, so he even had the same mama, all right? Now, that right there in itself, if you ain't treating all the kids fairly or anything like that, it's a breeding ground for the devil there because they could be jealousy, okay? And it says, now Joseph, it says, uh, uh, his, his wives, and Joseph brought a bad report of them to his father. So he went back and told his dad on his brothers, okay? So it shows that they got a separate relationship. It's Joseph and his dad, okay? And his brothers and his dad and his brothers and Joseph, all right? But he's not connected to any of them, right? And it says, now Israel loved Joseph more than all the rest of the children. That's a breeding ground for the devil because he was the son of his old age. Now, I don't know if he just felt like maybe he wasn't going to be around or maybe he was just wiser, more godlier, so he spent more time and loved Joseph more. I know it, it probably had something to do with Rachel as well, but his mom, Jacob really loved Rachel. I mean, that's the one that he, you know, had a thing for. All right, now, um, so it says because of his old age, also he made, all right, so he made him a tunic and gave him a gift, okay, he didn't give all the other ones, all right, we'll read that, it says that, and he also made him a tunic of many colors, but when his brothers saw that they loved him more than all his other brothers, uh, they hated him and could not speak to him, okay, and now Joseph had a dream, so God puts this vision in his head, and he goes right back and tells him, well, you got somebody that's jealous, you don't go tell them your plans and the things that God's put in your heart, okay? You don't throw your pearls to the peas, they'll turn around and they're going to trample you. All right, that's, that's similar to what that means, okay? But these are not necessarily all pigs, okay? But if somebody's envious of you, they, they're they going to try to, they're going to take what you tell them and use it against you, okay? And it made his bros even madder at him, all right? So it's, you know, ultimately, I don't want these videos to be too long. We're going to go ahead. So you see a, a fierce breeding ground there for the devil okay joseph has all right then the third and final you know this is in there too okay joseph has a destiny from god he's already a godly person J uh jacob being who he was and knowing god and being his in his old age i guarantee you he was telling joseph about god and joseph believed it all right now that right there in itself is going to have the devil coming down there especially when god put that in his heart because he obviously knew that there was something there because he went back and told his brothers and he was excited about it he wouldn't hush about it okay now ultimately we just got the devil all in there now when you start a faith okay when god puts something in your heart and you have the faith to try to plan your life and to try to seek out this daggum this thing listen to me god purifies that faith by fire okay so he's going to allow the devil to do certain things to get you into the right mindset, to dislodge that sin, to teach you, uh, to show you, okay? And that's why he allowed this to happen to Joseph, okay? So his brothers were pissed, and they all of a sudden sell him into the day on slavery to some Israelites, okay? And they take him off the Potiphar's house, and that's where we'll start the next video, guys. Hit the like button, subscribe. We're going to work up to the Lazarus effect in the end, okay? So watch all the videos, hit the like button, subscribe. Thank you.